Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another technical recap video. In this video, I'm going to be covering the last five days of Palantir and Sofi. So let's go uh, look at Palantir right now. Now, Palantir uh, made a parabolic movement on Monday. It went up by about 10% on Monday. And then it seemed like it sort of stabilized, um, you know, throughout the past four days. It wasn't really moving a lot upwards, but it was also not moving a lot downwards. So it seems like Palantir is sort of in a consolidating um, pattern here. Um, if you look at the RSI, it seems like, uh, you know, we were not able to cross towards that overbought range. It seems like we are starting to correct down right now. Uh, you know, the other supporting factor is that the MACD um, histograms does not seem to have a lot of volume here. So it's very possible we might end up moving back towards the, the um, red MACD, which, um, you know, would be uh bad for the stock unless the stock is able to um make a divergence with the MACD. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to the one hour right now. Now, as for the one hour, we did see a uh triple top in um it was probably Tuesday, right? Uh, it started on Tuesday, and we saw uh Palantir break out of that triple top. Um. Once again, a triple top pattern is when uh, a stock price hits um, three resistances. Uh, and, it, you know, typically the um, share price starts to drop. But I, I did, you know, I, in my opinion, I thought at that time it would break out of um, this triple top. And, you know, it did momentarily, but it seems like it um, also retraced back down. So let's look at the um, retracement right now. Uh, so I'm going to pull out the film Nazis here and put it over here. Let's see. So what it seems like to me is that it retraced um, back to 0 0.382. Um, so it was around 1626 over here. And it seems like, you know, that was a possible support level. So I, I really don't think this is going to go down uh, much further, um, in my opinion. Uh, and I, I think the RSI sort of supports that, right? Because it's, um, you know, trying to curl back up towards the bullish side. Once it crosses that yellow line, um, it's going to be a bullish signal once again. And if you look at the MACD, um, it's also curling up towards a bullish side. But as you can see here, it's been, you know, rejected here a lot four times. So it seems like we have quite a lot of resistance around this area. Um, but, you know, that's pretty normal. If you look at the stock price, it's moving parabolically. And we saw that MACD um, diverge for, you know, pretty long, um, pretty long time. It's about two or three weeks right now that Palantir has been moving up. Obviously, their fundamentals are extremely good. Um, you know, I, I, don't re I don't see anything wrong with their fundamentals. It's just whether um, their revenue can catch up with their, uh, you know, expectations. So back to the uh, technicals, uh, the MAs is, you know, the 20 MAs just crossed the 50 MAs towards the downside, which uh, theoretically would be a bad thing. But if you look at the um, sort of closer, if you look closer, um, you know, I, I still think we might sort of do something like, uh, like this. So that's because of the MACD and the RSI, right? If you look at the RSI, it's pointing up and if you look at the MACD, it's also, you know, trying to recover. So uh, that's what I think of SoFi's tech, no, Palantir's technical analysis. I'm going to move on to SoFi right now. Hopefully, you know, I, I, I'm not sounding too um, mixed here. So once again, uh, if you look at SoFi, uh, I, I did talk about, um, you know, it might be consolidating around this level of um, 770 and 943 as you can see here uh you know 943 has been hit about three times right now and we have seen some candles try to hit that um so if you look at the uh five days um, it seems like on monday once again we saw a parabolic movement similar to palantir uh which is why i, I often say that palantir and so far is almost basically the same stock but it seems like that trend is um, breaking slightly. Um, we figured that out about this week. I think was um, Wednesday. Um, so the RSI is 
sort of curling downwards. I, I guess it's it, it's stabilizing, right? Uh, but the uh, MACD is trying to curl back up. So those are mixed signals. Uh, once again, I, I did meme about this in a YouTube short. Uh, right, those are mixed signals. And if you look at the MAs, um, we are sort of losing steam here. The 20 MAs is pointing towards the downside. So once again, uh, I, I really think this is a consolidating pattern. Um, you know, if so far it does trade down uh, to a midpoint here at around nine dollars. No, that's um, eight fifty nine. Uh, you know, it could be a possible entry. Um, if it does do that, right? So let's move on to the one hour. Uh, let's see. Did I draw anything here? Okay. So on the one hour, I drew a Fibonacci here. Um, in the past, this was uh, last week, and it seemed like uh, you know. Uh, once again, so far it moved up a lot in the first day, uh, and it moved up about. Let's see here. I'm gonna measure it here and here. About fifteen percent on Monday. That's huge, right? And we sort of saw a Morgan Stanley um downgrade here, and it seemed like the stock was gonna drop at that time. I really thought we were going to tend towards a bearish um, moment or something um you know this was right after i was extremely bullish on uh sofi and palantir on wednesday and then morgan stanley released that uh downgrade and you know that sort of affected sofi stock we have seen this a lot with um sofi where downgrades heavily affect the stock but then you know we see um ceo anthony noto sort of go on cb cnbc and just destroy those um you know downgrades right so you know so far it does seem to ping pong around that uh those type of um, downgrades and you know those downgrades are it's, it's like I, I i really can't predict them right and you know i don't expect myself to predict them obviously so let's look at the rsi uh right now we are around that midpoint so we, we really could go anywhere right now but you know this looks like it's stabilizing around the uh, bearish side so basically that purple line is under that yellow line so that's a little bit bearish um if you look at the ma's they are sort of tangling up right now um you know it's trying to cross over but it's not able to right um and then if you look at the uh 200 ma's it seems to still be pointing upwards so if you sort of draw a um line here it seems like you know so far is in a uh wedge here right so it is possible that uh so far is able to break out of here um if we look at the macd that that does seem to support it um you know we are trying to curl back up towards the bullish side for the macd so do i think so far is gonna drop over here um i'm gonna say no I, I don't think it's gonna drop here. Uh, once again, we have bank earnings next week, right? So that's that's really gonna determine what's gonna happen with SoFi. I think um, if the bank earnings are good, I think SoFi is gonna do extremely well over the next week. And if the bank earnings are just you know tragically horrible, then obviously SoFi is gonna get affected. So I, I think that's gonna be it for technical recap. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I really felt like I, you know, I sort of ping ponged around here in this episode. So hopefully you guys can, you know, find something interesting from this video. As always, uh, thanks for watching and stay safe.